Hey guys, it is Esty and Justin from Not For Long Media. If you like the video you're about to watch, be sure to like the video itself and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Enjoy the video and also don't forget to follow us on our socials at Not For Long Media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So, uh, you know, we've talked about it on here a lot with Kevin Clark. I'm a Manny Megacast aficionado. Every Monday night, I watch that broadcast, uh, Peyton and Eli. So this week, they always have guests. This week, they had Nick Saban, head coach of Alabama, on his, uh, I think it was the second quarter guest. The conversation had a lot of not so subtle hints that Nick Saban is trying to recruit uh, Peyton and Eli's brother, Cooper, Cooper's son, Arch, Arch Manning. So people think Arch Manning's going to be the next and then in the you know long line of great Manning quarterbacks, he's 16 years old. He's coming out in the, the 2023 recruiting class, and so Saban had a couple you know subtle little things. If you were listening, that uh, I think Saban wants him to come to Alabama. So Saban said, um, you know, quote, it's important to have uh, it's important that a, a, a quarterback go to a team where he'll be surrounded by the most talent. And what team has the most talent? That would be his Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, and also Saban just dropped in there. You know, he would love to coach a, a member of the Manning family. So, uh, you know, eagle-eyed people last night were pointing that out. Uh, I don't think it's any secret that, that Nick Saban wants Arch to go to Alabama. Whether he's going to go there or not, I think that's the question. He's got five schools on his warm, I don't know what that means, but 24-7 sports that tracks, you know, college recruiting. I'm sure Colin, Colin is familiar. Um, five schools, Bama, Clemson, Georgia, LSU, and Ole Miss are uh those are his warm lists for arch manning uh colin where do you think arch should go i think you should go play for nick saban i think you should go i think nick saban's point about the best players what they're doing alabama is just absolutely no joke and they're not slowing down they're actually getting better out there they lose we talked about this before in the podcast multiple first round picks they lose coordinators every single year that take a head coach job i don't even know where to start where what they've done at Alabama, they are unbelievable. I saw our friend Kevin Clark retweet uh, something about the Alabama team that's in the NFL and how they would rank overall. It's pretty ridiculous. Go check that out. Go check out Kevin Kevin Clark's tweet about the current players that are from Alabama in the NFL and how they would do as an NFL franchise. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe Alabama should just pay for an NFL franchise and all Alabama players can just feed into the program there. So yeah, pretty crazy. I think you should go to Alabama. I don't know anything about recruiting these days. Like I used to back in the day, I used to know every coach, all these different things, what to do, the situations, but even if you ride the bench for two, three years at Alabama, you're a two-year starter, you're projected to be a first round pick. You're going to get the best coach and you're going to get everything you need more. So I would say Alabama. I kind of like it. You know, if he wants to go outside the box, go to Ole Miss, Lane Kiffin on Instagram, he unfollowed everybody except for one person. Lane Kiffin follows one person on Instagram, and that is Arch Manning. Wow. He's 16, so that's a little weird. But, uh, you know, the old Miss connection is there with, uh, with, with Uncle Eli. Well, it's, it's like, it'd be life-changing for Lane, right? If Arch fills those shoes and is a great college quarterback, like, you know, all his – or college athletes like all his dad and uncles were. So, yeah, that would change. I mean, it's life-changing for him if he goes there, right? Recruiting-wise, it's life-changing. But nowadays with NIL, which we'll get into next week, uh, you know, name, image, likeness, any booster can throw a ton of money at him. I'm sure people are. So that's going to be a really interesting thing. Obviously, finances for the Manning family are maybe the most pressing thing. I don't want to speak about anybody's money, but I don't think it would be. Uh, so maybe they say, hey, listen, ignore all of it. We're going to pick the best school for you football-wise. It's going to be interesting to see how that all unfolds.